And we're back to Mass Effect after doing a shit ton of side quests. Uh, we're going to load up on gear and go do the first mission, I think. Um, you might notice Tally's now a Power Ranger. Um, in this game, there are no alternate outfits, actually. You just get armor, and all the armor are different colors. Oh, okay. So uh, if I find new armor that just happens to suit my companions better as... Let me see what you have. Whatever. Um, oh, you will be pleased, it'll just be a different color. Very good things I have. You will see. So let's see if this guy's got any armor for us. No. Useless piece of crap. Um, yeah, whatever. I think I've already gone through the Citadel and bought all of the, um, the requisition orders. So it doesn't really actually matter. Um, and we can probably get a good selection of stuff on the Normandy now, so I'll just go do that. So, let's just head back to the Normandy. Oh, but I was enjoying the Citadel Antics so much. There's so many things to do and see here. There There's were. pesky guys to go talk to. Yeah. There's keepers to scan. I'm gonna miss these times. When I look back on all the earth-shattering action of Mass Effect, I'm always gonna remember that mission with the keepers that we skipped through. Your sarcasm is wounding me. Sarcasm. That, that's how you pronounce it. Sarca sarcasm. Sar sarcasm. The total... In entertainment ah. news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> the production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. <laughs> if it's good for the kids, it's good for the adults. <laughs> All the murder, none of the emotional ramifications that follow. Man, too bad Hunger Games couldn't be that way. <laughs> a little harsh, but whatever. All right. So I, I've got a very harsh opinion on Hunger Games, honestly. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to go over that later. If there's ever a lull in the game, we can discuss it. <laughs> oh, geez. That'll be fun. Okay, so these two are waiting here. We actually walked straight past them in the Keeper's mission. They were just like, what are Shepard's doing? <laughs> <laughs> I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. This ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Free to will, Commander. Um, are you being forced, forced to retire? Retirement. That's what this I was thinking. Right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. All right, I won't push it then. They can't know. afford me, Keith David, for more than a few more scenes. <laughs> what kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Uh, what about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'm on it. I'll stop him. We have I made my shepherd lead. pretty pretty. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Then I will start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Well, that's your job, bitch! I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> you were a human long before you were a specter. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. 
Okay. So here's one thing that I've been wondering about, and maybe you have an answer. Uh, you're given control of Normandy, but you're not promoted to captain. You stay as a commander. But Anderson was the captain of the Normandy. So even though you're still the chief ranking officer on the Normandy, they don't promote you to captain. Is it because you became a specter and therefore rank doesn't matter anymore? I think so, basically. Okay. Eventually, C commander starts to basically, like list towards you're the commander of a lot of things mm -hmm. i think or at least it feels that way to me and um joker just starts calling you captain anyway it's also funny how captain anderson um yes, commander. doesn't actually get another ship but he stayed he he doesn't get promoted to admiral or anything he just stays captain but they don't actually give him anything to captain oh yeah i forgot about this we can actually ask him about armiston baines um, but because of that one side quest, oh. that's a new option. What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's <laughs> dead. Has been for quite some time. Uh, I know because I killed him, apparently. Are you sure? The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Well, okay then. Was Two bullets in the back of the head. The alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. I made sure of that. Uh, this sounds really suspicious. This is a cover-up if I ever heard one. I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. Yeah, I met him. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? Can you please refresh me on what's going on with Armiston Baines? Because I don't remember that. Um, basically, we were talking to... You remember Dr. Michelle? Yeah. Um, she had a blackmailer. And the blackmailer said he was working for a man named Armiston Baines. Oh, okay. So how can you work for this guy if the guy's dead? Yeah, basically. So this is a really weird uh, thing. And we're doing another quest for Act Admiral uh, Kadoku, whatever his face is. Um... But, uh, I forgot to actually mention that. Um, <laughs> I was going to bring that up when we actually got to doing the quest for the Admiral. Okay. Um, and, and, yeah, it'll make more sense then. But basically, next time we run into that Admiral, I'll talk to him and we'll get more of this. I didn't realize the Bane's quest actually went back to him. That's something I just didn't remember. Um, let's ask him if he's okay. How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. The entire narrative revolves around you now. <laughs> What's, uh, d have we talked to him about his past with Saren before? I don't remember. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Uh, okay. Well then, that was, um... No, we haven't heard of this before. He didn't lie to us because we knew that Nihilus was... Well, he... I guess he didn't... He just didn't tell us everything. So, what happened, basically? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, Sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. So, I'm guessing it probably didn't go down that way. You screwed it up, Anderson! I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. <laughs> That's a little extreme. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. 
There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Ugh. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectre. Why would you get blamed for that? Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. That's obviously not your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. That's really fucked up. That's not Why'd fair. You get away with it? Who do you think the council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Yeah. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living with her. You work with the Spectres, though. I want to know the truth. Oh, yeah, but no, it's not a different than the <laughs> same conversation. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Now what happens? I will take Normie and go in space. Okay. So my story with Saren, I should go. No, really. Uh, I haven't told you everything about Saren. I should go. <laughs> okay. Stand by shore party. Decontamination 